Hey guys, welcome. Now it's the full moon in Cancer and we are in the time of the mirror with the Queen of Cups where we go from being deceptive to being reflective and what this means. This is expanding telepathy right now. This has to do with psychic developments within our third eye chakra. Visualization. Okay, we're going to visualize to expand, to co-create our abundance, to materialize, whichever which way you want to look at it. With the Ace of Pentacles here, remember this is about the Ten of Pentacles. We're in Capricorn season. The wheel, we you know, we just had the, the winter solstice. We The wheel has turned and that's connected to what is this? Our visualization, but our visualization within the mind. Okay, look, this is about a change in perspective. Right? Look, a change in perspective with who? Who are we having this change in perspective with? The inner child. Hear and know me. Inner child. Knowledge. acknowledge the inner child okay and that has to do with shape shifter inner knowledge and ancient wisdom and you can see the egg is within this shape right the octahedron we have the negative with the positive and this is a sacred cross protecting everything And it has to do with 285 hertz optimal health and well-being. And us coming together. This is the lovers here. We got these card we got this card yesterday. These cards yesterday. Okay, this is about us coming together. We have a dream, okay? We have a dream. of us coming together okay and that's connected to the three of cups and we're going to get into this within the sec within a second here and the four of wands the building oh my goodness guys hang tight let's get that sorted out okay and we know right remember we're coming together this is alchemy of the cups remember we're the alchemy of love the alchemy of the lovers but there it is it's through the ace and the knight of cups and this is connected right to our abundance which is our financial health and that is our life's purpose where we go from the south node our life's debts the ten of swords we have an ending to begin again with the north node our life's purpose our ten of cups okay our life's purpose the Ten of Cups. As above, so below. Right? As within, so without. Whole. To be nothing and everything at the same time. Ten of Pentacles. Remember, that's the time we're in. Capricorn season as we heal with the light that's what we're doing here as we go from being deceptive to being reflective 
through the mirror. And remember, this is what's being activated with the moon as the wheel turns. And remember, this is about an, a change in frequency. What's happening within the cup? The vast universe. The loving woman. And the loving man. Both being activated right now. But where where is this activation? It's happening through a change in energy. Remember, a change in frequency. From within to without. This is true love. But it's happening from within to without. The inner child. Hear and know me. Remember... The inner child, hear and know me. A change in perspective. True love. A resonance and frequency from within to without with the loving man and the loving woman. The loving man and the loving woman. True love. But remember, there's a three. It's happening within the three. Ace of cups. So the ace. Getting well. Elevating from within to without. With the cup. Remember. True love. Kindred partnerships. But in order to do so, remember, that's about an elevation, a change in perspective. In order to be able to see this true love from within. Within to without. Okay? But it's we have to expand our consciousness. We're no longer a victim. We are the positive within the negative, and this is what's allowing us to shape shift. Remember, we're shape shifting with inner child, inner knowledge, and ancient wisdom. But we have to acknowledge the inner child. Okay, you have to acknowledge the inner child. And that's connected to 285 hertz. Optimal health right now and well-being. Use this frequency. And what? The Queen of Cups. She has the inner child. And this has to do with the star healing. Wishing upon a star. The coming together of true love. Okay? The coming together of true love. Wishing upon a star. Remember the North Star. We're expanding love. Kindred partnerships. And we're in the energy of true love. So we're elevating within the cup. Because remember, this is about the two cups. And how we're doing so right now is these two messages. And we're seeing something. We're seeing something of the light. We're going to get an activation of light after we share these two messages. So first off, let's share the queen. straight to the page she officially started here but look her message is here more confirmation right there it's the queen of cups okay the queen of cups is the water aspect within water which means that she is pure emotion and their mirroring reflections Within her, there are reflections upon reflections within reflections. Oh, that says so much. 
You got to step into this energy and to be able to handle this. It takes practice. It takes healing. It takes elevation. Amidst this funhouse of mirrors, all sense of individual personality is lost. If you're a Piscean, you know even more about this because this energy is mutable. mutable. It's like water vapor. So we have like Scorpio is like a frozen pond, like a frozen lake. And it looks so still and so majestic and so serene and just like so right but underneath the surface of that water there's so much going on there's so much going on the depths of scorpio and then we have cancer cancer is the nurturer the mother okay cancer feels like no other and then we have pisces who is like water vapor okay like water vapor and can just think about like how mutable this energy is so amidst this fun house of mirrors all sense of individual personality is lost and instead the queen finds reflections of her universal consciousness in the eyes of everyone she meets we are all one Bubbles reflecting her observant eyes up from her watery throne to encircles the Queen of Cups. Upon drawing the Queen of Cups, you are advised to create time to pause and reflect. The basis of this card is due to her infinitely subtle nature. It is hardly possible to see the genuine truth of her being. For she reflects the observer, you, with tremendous detail. She is veiled by endless bubbles and curves of light and invites you to recognize how deep your inherent waters go and how many aspects of you are actually just mirrors of others you've met along your way. Now this is deep because remember, this is about authenticity. This is about a change of frequency within the cup. Okay? Okay. And this is what we talked about yesterday. This is about healing from deception and loss in our past. That's helped us to continue to create with our victim template, our victim consciousness. But remember, we're expanding our consciousness. We're becoming the positive within the negative to shape shift with inner knowledge and ancient wisdom because we're not acknowledging the inner child. And it has to do with true love, right? And kindred partnerships. And this is from within to without. It's with God. So the next message <clears throat> is the mirror. Oh, look at that. And great gratitude. That's how we elevate right there. Gratitude. Now, the mirror, okay, is the mirror on, on the wheel, okay, is the autumn equinox. So, <clears throat> we know we've gone from autumn to winter. Winter solstice. Position on the wheel. The, the mirror is placed in the autumn equinox on the 21st of September at the gateway to the setting sun. The element is water. The dark midnight sea lies before the soul that must make the journey to the mysterious island for healing a dark serpentine figure rises from the water holding a golden mirror to her breast her curling tail vanishes into the water with her left hand she holds a crystal ball the orb of seeing held by the dark woman of knowledge a figure from humanity's most ancient past a heron stands motionless at the water's edge a small wooden boat which is still tethered floats in the river current in it lies the ethereal figure, a sleeping soul awaiting its journey to the island. In many traditions, 
The initiator into hidden knowledge is a female figure that reveals insights and wisdom to those on a spiritual journey. In the ancient Arthurian cycles, this is Morgan, who takes Arthur on his journey into limbo and healing on the Isle, the Isle of Avalon. The Lady of the Lake is another such primal figure who also acts as a holder and guardian of the Sword of Excalibur. Both these archetypes represent the unconscious journey of the soul into deeper awareness and wisdom. No act of will can make the soul take this journey. It can only happen after much, much searching and questing. Confirmation right there from the universe. Thank you. It is also a precondition of this experience that some kind of wounding has taken place. Remember, victim mentality to optimism. We talked about yesterday. Healing from deception in the past, but it's from the past. Healing from loss in the past, but not continuing to co-create with it currently. So some kind of wounding has taken place. It is through the pain and endurance of the wounding that wisdom comes. At which point the individual can cross the lake to the island of healing and protection. It is a natural state, is, it is a natural state of surrender that allows the inner self to travel across the emotional sea to the other world. And that's what we're doing. Both the, the winter solstice gateway and, and we're transmuting our pain. Okay, we're turning into something higher vibe. We're making art with it as well as to like look up ice baths. Look at that guy, Wim Hof. Okay, he lost his wife and through his intuition began healing with cold therapy. And he transmutes his pain and has taught, you know, all, all these people to transmute their pain through ice therapy. We're going to learn, we're learning how to biohack, guys. We're going to get into biohacking here. Stay tuned. We're going to get into deeper levels of that. Grounding, ice baths, meditation, just to name a few, okay? All right, so something's being activated here with the light. Going on a journey. This is also connected to the green woman. Remember, the three of cups are abundance where we heal from gluttony and the four of wands this community that we are actively building okay let's see and temperance temperance alchemy remember alchemy the cups are here but this alchemy is connected to our truths and these truths with the page of swords because the element of youth has been added we've acknowledged the inner child this is the Six of Cups. Adding the Six of Cups into the mix. Purification. To innocence. Inner child. Here in know me. I'm not going to be deceptive. I'm going to be reflective. Because being deceptive has, has me playing the devil's tune. Uh-uh. I'm not doing that. I'm changing my frequency. I'm changing my energy. Because why? going here because why I'm going here because why I'm being called to I'm being called to I'm being called to everything is reflecting back to me of the light where I need to go what I need to do I'm being called Definitely has to do with the heart. Heart chakra activation. There it is. St Stargate heart. Heart heart chakra opening. Unblocking generosity. And remember, this is about great gratitude. We can be grateful for everything. This is the positive within the negative. Remember... 
gratitude puts us in a state of receivership. Stellar gateway activation, infinite potential manifestation vortex. And this goes back to the Anunnaki light codes, energetic shift, new information and end of a cycle. And this was activated during the Lion's Gate. We shared this message. Earth star activation, anchoring grounded action, Isis energy. And we got Isis when we spoke to the moon deck. So we're going to have to pull all these cards together because we have, she's right here. Remember, Isis got activated with this hero. So we were getting an activation for, we are talking to the moon. I can't remember. This might be willing release. This could be in the, the, in the message willing release. And we were getting a message from the moon, the new moon in we were going from the new moon in Sagittarius to this full moon in Cancer. And we got the, of course, the red goddess Hera of Cancer right here. And alongside her, she's working with Isis. The red goddess of Leo. What is this all about? Strength. Remember, telepathy is the strength card we talked about this yesterday telepathy is a strength card and that's our connection to leo remember we're expanding telepathy because why it's about a change in frequency within our heart this isn't about verbal communication it doesn't mean we're not using verbal communication to change our frequency this is literally about a heart chakra activation remember it's right here there's the octahedron heart chakra activation. Here's the octahedron here within the egg and the hexa, the cube, the hexa, whatever this is called. Guys, I already freaking forget. Man, thank goodness for the divine stargate heart. Sometimes we gotta be empty to fill back up. Okay, and. That's when you really know where, where some of this information is coming from. We can't remember, try to remember all of it. And then we empty ourselves to be filled back up. And the divine's like, here you go. You need to know that now. You don't need to know that now. We can't hang on to everything all the time. Okay, Stargate heart. Heart chakra opening, unlocking generosity. The heart chakra is our connection to love and generosity. When opened, it can take us on a powerful expedition to experience love. In Sanskrit, it is it is also known as Anahata, which means unstruck or even unbroken, revealing that even though we may feel our heart is broken, our true spiritual heart is always whole. The heart chakra governs all aspects of our heart, including our relationships, what lights us up, and of course, our self-worth. This gateway transports us to an emerald city, the temple of our heart. This sacred space within is a place of wonder and love. Here we are reminded of the sacredness we hold within and are encouraged to know that although it's like a hidden treasure, this beauty deserves to be seen and enjoyed by the outer world. It is the gateway. Imagine there is a path to the emerald city, but it is a path less traveled. This can represent many years of denying our self-worth and also moments during many lifetimes when we've pushed love away, but now we are moving closer to the love we are. And remember, this is about true love. We're moving closer to the love that we are. It's authentic. This is a kindred partnership. It's happening from within to without. And remember, I want you to see, here the octahedron is within the cube, within the egg. Okay, remember, we're expanding from within to without. Here, the octahedron is without the egg. And it's protected by the sacred cross. And we will get into this next time we meet up. And within the egg is the seed of life. And we will also share this message next time we meet up. So, 
Connect, place your hands on your heart space and breathe deeply. Invite the sacred temple within to lower its drawbridge and open its gates so that you can experience love in harmony. We got to look let love open its drawbridge we have to hear and know that inner child hear and know me hear and know me your message because remember this is about harmony we're creating a harmony with our frequency your heart space is sacred it's a sacred space deep within you for some time you have protected it with psychic shields that have not only stopped you from being hurt but also stopped you from feeling love. Remember, this is healing from the past. This gateway appearing shows you that you have finally dropped these shields and are ready to experience love. Universal wisdom wants you to know that this is your divine right. You are highly empathetic and a generous soul who has so much to give and you are being called forth to reveal the deeper and more vulnerable aspects of your being. Divine light beings are surrounding you holding you and encouraging you to relax. All the restrictions and blockages of your heart space have now been removed. The worst is behind you and the world needs you. And remember, we found out there are no mistakes. Everything's happening all in divine timing. Love, light, and healing energy sent your way to create with today. You know I am sending it to you, those good, good healing vibes. I love you. Take care and I'll see you next time we expand.